Hello everyone, this is Satya Karki. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn how to send customized email when SharePoint list item modified using Power Automate. As we know, there are several common automation templates available in Power Platform that is Power Automate, which we can use to automate the business processes and workflows. In this part, we will use available templates when an item in a SharePoint list is modified, send an email to automate our leave approval request. Beside this, we will customize email and send email notification to requester when manager gives his response to the leave request. Additionally, we will learn how to get started with Power Automate. This is our SharePoint list leave approval request which I have already created and we are going to use this list in the demonstration. So there are three ways to make a flow in Power Automate. First one is start from the blank. In start from blank we can create the automated cloud flow, instant cloud flow, scheduled cloud flow, desktop flow, business process flow. And secondly, we can uh, start from a template to create our flow. There are several templates available in the Power Automate that we can use according to our need or requirement. Beside that, there is uh, another method to uh, start a flow, start from a connector. We can select the appropriate connector according to our requirement and start uh, creation of the flow. So today I am going to select uh, uh, select uh, this second option. We start from a template when a SharePoint list item is modified. That times so we will trigger and uh, send the email notification to the requester. So here we will choose today when an uh, item in a SharePoint list is modified, send an email. So continue, we can select here the SharePoint site collection name and the SharePoint list. Here I am selecting the demo SharePoint site collections and our uh, list name is a leave approval request. So now we can go and modify it. So by default, when an existing item is modified, it is uh, um, taking the site address, our demo site and the list name is a leave approval request. Uh, for this flow, I don't need the get my profile. So I'm going to remove this one. And I, I want to use the another email template. So I'm going to delete this send email also. So we will customize and our own flow. So before getting the uh, before getting the another step, we need to get the items first. So I'm going to add the another step to get the items. Get item. Get SharePoint item. And Type name, demo, list, I will select the ID, based on the ID we will get the item, item which is uh, modified. Now I will put another condition. Here I will put manager status value and check the condition. Here we can choose the several types of the conditions. Value contains, does not contain, equal to, not equal to, greater than and so on. For this uh, flow I need when the manager's value, uh, manager gives a uh, status or manager uh, status will be updated. That times we will send the 
email notification to the requester. So for this case, if the manager status is not equal to null, that time we will trigger the flow and send the email to the requester. So I am selecting the conditions manager status value is not equal to null. If the condition is met here in the if the condition is s that time we will send the email notification. So I am going to add here send an email notification. to created by created by email response from manager to your link request we can format the body of the email here created by created by display name you have got response from your manager to your request see details you can put the in details the start date In date, manager approval status. We can get dynamic value from here and get items. Manager comment. Thank you. Okay, now the flow is ready. If the manager updates his status, then only the email notification will go to the requester as the manager has uh, updated his status. For a no quiz, we don't need to anything. So now we can save it. Now flow is ready. We can go and now test it. In this way, we have created a flow to send customized email when an item in a SharePoint list is modified. That's all for this part. Thank you for watching this video.